Thank you for tuning in to the Force Production Powerlifting Channel. My name is Lawrence Malchev. Today, I recorded the session from the Rochester Performance Gym, where the next meet will be held. I wanted to get an idea of what it uh, what it was like to to uh, to lift there, just see the inside, know kind of what would be uh, what the atmosphere would would be like. So, me and the nephew. Went and got it in. Today, in these squats, squats moved very, very slow today. No explosive power. Had to dig deep. It was very, very tough getting through the squats. Squats were very heavy today. I weigh 227 pounds, three pounds under uh, underweight as far as the weight category that uh, that I've wanted to compete in so I finally got what I wanted which was to be under 230 pounds or under 231 and 227 is a bit too low so I'm going to be training at a body weight of around 234 <clears throat> 230 to 234 maybe 236 until a few days before the meet then chop out a few calories just to just to lop off um, enough weight to just barely make weight. All of these were moving slower than hell, and it was a little worrisome to me. I had to hit my 335-pound um, top set twice. Now, the angle that the camera was at should have been a little more level because this first attempt... Coming up here in about three, two, one. Not low enough. Questionable depth. And quite frankly, I thought I had hit it. But I said, no, you can do better. You've got this 335 in you. So go ahead and hit it again. I didn't really like this one. If you tilt the your screen, you'll see that I hit depth on that, but I had to hit it again because I just I couldn't leave the gym uh, without uh, trying this 335 again. I've been have had 335 on my back for the last you know four years, and uh, always have moved it successfully. Today it was just really really feeling heavy. Yeah, see, so I hit depth on that one. And then I get my work sets in. So why why is the weight feeling heavy? The weight to me was feeling heavy because I just uh, I mean I've been cutting weight and cutting weight and cutting weight and cutting weight and and uh, getting there and getting there you know doing my best of um, uh, getting that weight down and you know I was definitely hydrated for for this training session definitely well fed for this training session. Um, but it just, the explosive power wasn't there. I think there's just an adjustment period. I'm not going to, I'm not going to trip out about it. I'm not going to freak out about it. Uh, you know, the numbers that I'm going for in this next meet, um, which would be, uh, a 408 squat is, it definitely has to go on my back because the mission is to, is to match is to match the numbers of last meet for sure and anything above them will be will be a success also anything any uh, any total bigger than the last one will also be considered a success because i will be um 21 pounds lighter and lifting more and this is where and this is where you know um to to train at to train at a body weight any lighter than 227 would be a mistake i think for the rest of the year i think i really need to settle into that number 227 to 236 
and stay there and really train there for a while. But I didn't miss any lifts. I didn't fail any lifts. Um, I didn't need a spot for anything. So today was a good day. Definitely a good day. The bench was the best part, which I was thinking with, with my lack of explosive power in the in the squat, I was thinking that the bench was gonna be a was gonna be a hot mess, but actually the bench turned out to be quite good. And um, and I gotta tell you that the body's starting to look pretty good, guys. Starting to look pretty good in that sink in, in, in that uh, lifter's uniform. I'm definitely digging it. So I don't want to uh, I don't want to change anything. I just want to keep on training and, and keep on getting leaner and 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 harder and and get, let those muscles get fuller and, and stronger and more powerful. Just uh, some days in the gym you feel a little off, and today uh, I felt a little felt a little off on my uh, on my squat and, and uh, deadlift. So maybe there is some psychological mumbo jumbo going on but um we'll see it we'll see uh, we'll see how next sunday goes so with the bench um i would i would say that that off the chest is feeling a whole lot better now that I know how to dig my traps into the bench and press back, press down and back into the traps to kind of shoot the barbell back at the rack. That's that's kind of that's that's kind of like the overall uh, uh, technical proficiency that that I'm I'm really honing in on is is you support the barbell with your quads as the as the barbell comes down to your chest right and you fire off with those legs and dig those traps back there you go and i mean that moved really really fast that moved a whole lot better now i missed the last uh, working sets of the bench because the cannon was blinking out on me and doing funny stuff, which is irritating. So I'm glad it got my deadlifts in. <laughs> uh, everything moved fast up to the up to uh, this set here, but still I took the jumps that I want to take. One one thirty five two fifteen, um, uh, two two twenty five three fifteen. And there's slow 405. And the 425 went a little bit faster. Still way too slow, but no, actually, it didn't go any faster at all. I was thinking it went a little bit faster. I was delusional about that. But anyway, I got it. And that is the that is the important thing is that you get your lift you have to get it and sorry for the wait i meant to edit this part out this little down this little downtime here so i'm moving 360 for two sets of four and these came off really really well and um all in all I learned something super important that I am not to lose another single freaking ounce of weight. I'm to stay between 230 and 230, 236. Train that way up until up until the meet, and then just don't do anything fancy, just kind of cut some calories back so I can wake up, go weigh in at 230 pounds, and then go get something salty, sugary, and fatty, and, and keep myself hydrated to hit the platform. All right, still got week seven, week eight, week nine, and week 10 to train, so let's do some adjusting to this. Let's get hyped. 
This ain't over. This fight has just begun, and I'm going to adjust to this, and we're going to have a successful meet. All right, guys. See you there.